Hi friends, welcome to Aishu's DIY. Today we will design a necklace using uh, the silver silk uh, that we got from Sam Speedbox last month. This is the earring that I made and we already made the necklace. I have already uploaded it in my uh, channel. Go ahead and watch it. And for this project, I think we need an 18 gauge wire. So I have here some 18 gauge wire. You can actually use a 20 gauge wire. It's not a, a big deal. But I think I used an 18 gauge wire. Let me just see. Or maybe I used a 20 gauge wire only. It seems to be very pretty sturdy. That's why I was thinking I did. It's been, <laughs> sorry. It's been a little bit of time. I don't think so. I think I used only 20 gauge wire. Let me just grab my 20 gauge wire and check. Yeah, maybe I did use the 20 gauge wire. Okay, you can use either of them. Okay. And I'm just going to snip off a little bit so I shaked the camera. So you can straighten this wire out. Or you can hold it. I'm just going to um, put the bead cap that we received. We received four of the, no, six of the bead caps. Two I used it for the necklace, two I used it for this earring, and two I'm using it for this. And this teardrop also we received it, and then we are, I'm using this uh, six millimeter uh, drop bead and a small jump ring. And... To make this um, dangle, I'm going to use 24 gauge wire. So you can use a head pin um, you want, if you want. So since I want to color code all these, I'm using the same spool. So then add the silver silk. The silver silk is like a, a crocheted wire or uh, weaved wire on top of a rubber tube. That's what I perceive this is. And this is the first time I'm working with silver silk. So uh, you can thread it in. Uh, so I'm just going to snip this off because it's uneven. And um, it might uh, affect the tube. So I'm just going to add this inside. Okay. And then press this against it. So the thing is, I just have to put the other bead end, bead cap or end cap, whatever you want, cord ends, whatever you want to call that. See this, um, these wires are coming off. Just make sure you push everything inside our bead cap so it doesn't have any anything left here. So I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm just going to cut about, say, here. I will definitely measure this and let you guys know. So I haven't straightened it out. It's about, say, I would say 7 inches. Let me see. Yeah, almost 7 inches long. It's been quite a while since I made this earring. I wanted to make the other and show. I just made one. Um, uh, it was lying around. I just made one and then realized, oh my God, I haven't, um, you know, kind of. Okay. So what I want to do here is take, um, let me see. We need quite some for the wire wrapping. So I'm just going to leave a little bit and just start bending the wire. Okay. Start bending the wire just like that into a teardrop form because that's what we want. Once you get the teardrop form, take your, uh, you need round nose pliers and needle nose pliers. So make it into a teardrop form. See this, it just gets out, but don't worry. It's 
straighten the long piece out okay that way you will have a definite you know place for this to rest so then wrap the short piece of the wire onto it just like that Once you get the wrap, squish the wrap so that it sits nice and even and then you can snip this off. Tuck that tail in. This is what we have right now. So just straighten it out. Okay. So that's what we have. Now, so I cut about say equal uh, measures of the of this silver silk so I cut a piece for the necklace and then I cut two pieces which is about similar length and then you take this one straighten it out you can use in a longer pliers so I can use your hands the warmth from your hands actually softens the wire and straightens it out so add the six millimeter bead right here So once you put this, I want you to take a piece of the 24 gauge wire. Okay, you don't have to even uh, take off the spool. Just hold it on top. So to give the finished look, so we are not making a separate ear wire. We are making the ear wire within this frame itself. So that's what uh, makes it really pretty. And to give that uh, ear wire look, so we are going to take the 24 gauge wire, about say a uh, short tail, just hold it in your fingers, you need it. And then just pop that bead in and just coil it around this 20 gauge wire, which is pretty straight as you see. And the number of coil depends upon yourself. I did about say six. And then I squish that so one more and I'm done okay make sure it's complete and then you snip that tail off as close as possible and here to the short tail that you are holding in your hand and then just push everything down and then tuck that short tail on the top and the bottom go around okay now you have that coil okay that coil which is very very pretty so what you need to do now is okay bend this wire towards you just like that about say 90 degree take your looping pliers step looping pliers i don't remember which one i kept it maybe this one so this is a third size mantle so you keep it here okay right on top where you bent and then bend it around just like that and remove it see that it's a little bit bigger than this maybe yeah so all i need to do here is come again maybe That's about say right now all you need to do here is so we need um, this is much more smaller look so I think I did it with the second one I don't remember maybe suggest so I will do it one more time just like that okay so now i just will cut it about say here where my loops of overlap and just straighten these out because i miscalculated the loop that's why this happened otherwise it would have been perfect and just 
bend this a little bit and open it up so here is what we have so it should match this that's that's way too important so it's a little bit long so I would just cut this off and do that so we are almost done okay we have a short piece an inch left in the seven inch piece it's always good to have a little bit more than less so take again your um, 24 gauge wire cut about say two inches okay and take the bead pop it in take the end with your pliers make a U just like that okay and then squish that you a little bit not a lot just a little bit because if you squish that a lot then the bead will come through this see as I said that's what happened so I just snip that off make a proper you again and this time don't squish more you need a bigger loop for this bead to stay right now it's fine so it's there take your round nose pliers we are going to make a wrapped loop bend it reposition make yourself like a question mark then take that and make a wrapped Once you do that, snip the excess tail off. Tuck that in nicely. Okay. Now we have the wrapped loop. So all you need to do here is take a jump ring. This jump ring is about say four or five millimeter probably. I like to use my bent nose pliers for this purpose and see this is overlapping I want this to be you know perfect so you prep your jump ring first and then once they join perfectly you open it up again add your dangle add this so you need to open up more and add this to this loop of yours in the neck of this earring so that's where you're going to add so There we go. Take your bun those pliers and just take this and close it. Once you close that, this is how it will look. So our earrings are done. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification. I do upload videos a couple of times a week. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our Facebook group and share if you are uh, planning to make some earrings um, in the near future soon or uh, you know any designs that um, um, that was inspired by my videos I would love to um, see the pictures thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye